Well, it's a 10% reduction. That's what yes. he's talking about. So there's 650 odd MPs now, so mm. reduce it you know, by over 60 by cutting so it down. So will those be equal areas? Or? Yes, that's how it's going to be done. Is that every constituency will have to represent the same number of people. We're actually the largest constituency in the Leeds area. We have 78,000 electors in this constituency. Leeds North East has 66,000. Okay. Now, actually, Leeds East is also at about 75, 78,000. But the rest of the constituencies in Leeds are about 60 odd thousand. We actually have one constituency too many in Leeds, as an example. There is some debate as to whether we will stick at 78,000 or whether we will move to 100,000 electors. The Isle of Wight is 100,000 electors and is one constituency, and it may be focused around there just to get the numbers. But you've got constituencies in the North East of 45,000 people. There's a constituency in Wales of 38,000 people. This is how it's going to be reduced because the cost of each MP is enormous when you consider the staff which goes with it, etc. And, um, you know, this is a big constituency. But hopefully, and it is difficult, but hopefully I communicate as much with the people in Weatherby as I do with the people in Rothwell and everybody in between. Um, and certainly when elected, we're hoping to um, be able to have quite a high level of um, surgeries, etc. around the constituency, which will allow people to have full access to their MP. Um, so... The process will be one of the government saying, you know, i.e. us saying to the Electoral Commission, right, we're going to think for a 10% cut because we want all the actual be all constituencies to be X amount of electors. And, um, and then when that happens, you get that automatic reduction in the number of um, MPs.